All right. So hello, everyone. Um, today, webinar is uh, centered on dealing with teaching difficulties, which is the most difficult part um, that uh, most of novice teacher uh, encounter during the first day of teaching. Um, in this session, we have Muhammad Belayli, I think, right? Belmili. Belmili. Yes, Belmili. Uh, he's uh, um, also an English language teacher. And um, just we will give him the uh, word or statement to say about himself by introducing his qualifications, and then we will initiate our session. Yes, please, Muhammad Belayli. Belmili. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. I am Muhammad, like you say. Um, uh, I am an English teacher. Um, I teach at middle school. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I have an, an experience of uh, six years teaching. Uh, I teach several uh, different levels, so one MS, two MS, three MS, and four MS also as well. And I'm very happy to be here with our teacher in this uh, meeting, and I wish him good luck to uh, have, and we will wait, inshallah, for other participants to be here with us. Thanks a lot. You are the most welcome. So I know to inform, to inform the uh, prospect audience that this meeting will deal with the following elements. We'll talk about psychological um, factors or facts that will, uh, experienced by, will be experienced by novice teachers. The second element is about target audience. Uh, I'm referring to students. The third thing is learning perception, okay? Priorly and uh, after posting your lesson, what you have perceived, what you have uh, comprehend or what you have um, expected before uh, and after. And uh, the, final, the final element is centered on uh, lesson objective or lesson achievement. Is it fulfilled? Is it being fulfilled, sorry? Um, does the teacher um, uh, accomplish the lesson objective? Yes or no? These are all difficulties. So the first thing we would like Mohammed uh, to tell us about the psychological factor. And uh, you know, Mohammed, that's a novice teacher, most of them uh, got training, a teacher training program, you know it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, and this program probably will last one year. And after that, even they have uh, skills and aptitude and uh, got qualifications, um, even idea about how to teach, but when it comes to a real classroom setting, the situation differs. Is it uh, the, the is it okay with this with the, the, this uh, um, perception? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the psychological side here of teaching, uh, I think uh, it's a it's more and more and more general here. Uh, and if you want to talk about this, maybe one year is not enough just for the psychological part, part of side of uh, of teaching, how to deal with classroom, how to deal with uh, um, students or pupils how to deal with anything that is related to, to, to pupils and also your uh, side of teaching as, as, a, as a teacher. As a teacher, it's not just uh, like any pro other professions. And the training that you were talking about uh, plus, uh, that lasts one year uh, in general, uh, I think this side of, uh, of psychological uh, part in teaching they uh, take it as granted like let's say so um, they don't give it much time to uh, let's say uh, it, it deserves more than that uh, because they focus generally on the the through the teaching uh, the teaching process how to teach uh, a side of language for example as teachers of english they sometimes uh, they generally uh, give the trainees uh, the knowledge of teaching how to teach listening how to teach reading how to teach then out if you for example have to deal with for example special uh, type of pupils 
it's rarely to find these kind of things in training days. That's probably why most, teacher, most teachers, when they uh, go in the classroom, uh, you will find them struggle and struggle with uh, pupils, how, to, how to, uh, to classify them, how to manage the classroom, how to deal with the uh, pupils who are not stable, how to, anything. And that's, um, uh, let's say, uh, and that's, um, let's say, have an impact on the teacher itself, on the teacher himself. So uh, psychologically, he will be not pre uh, well prepared for this kind of uh, jobs, which is the teaching. And here it is psychological and something like that. So here we say that the teacher is not prepared psychologically to the process of uh, teaching because there's there are some factors that prevent him from being prepared for that. If you if you focus on this on our training days, it will be uh, okay. But believe me, but believe me, as I I I, I pretend I I I was present I was present uh, in this kind of trainings, and most of it was about teaching and how to teach and not how to deal with the teaching uh, process or how to how to deal with your classroom or how to be a good teacher when you are first. Uh, at the stage or uh, you are at the stage for the first time and you face these uh, students in front of you with different levels, with different backgrounds, with different anything. That's my idea about psychological uh, side of teaching. So what do you suggest from all this? You want them to have also to be trained psychologically? Yes, of course. How? Maybe, uh, How? Listen, uh, for instance, Factors, for example, uh, let's say uh, teachers, trainers, uh, they have a lot of experience uh, in this kind, of, uh, this kind of things. Maybe they will have a program, let's say CPD, this which is uh, uh, the continual professional development. Uh, all the year, it's uh, to be planned with uh, our uh, inspectors. Uh, um, the meeting is going to shut down, Mr. Iarabi, yes. Do we stop now? The meeting is going to stop in just five minutes. You have just five minutes left. Uh, not for me, for you maybe. Okay. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> because it starts at two and you have 2.43. Uh, so you have just five minutes. Okay, let me uh, let me finish my just uh, okay. point of view, and we we will meet again. Okay, for the, it's for the inspectors and the teacher trainers to to plan or to meet with uh, novice teachers and have them discuss their problems, and let's say have a national plan for that, and let's say write a book or something like that. Uh, and to be published and to be also uh, taught to other uh, or any other teacher that are that came novo, no, no, novice here when to, to, to the job. Mm. That's my point of view. Because uh, believe me, psychological it's uh, it's not just something that is easy to be discussed like this. Because it's it has an, a lot of and multiple. Uh, facts and sites uh, you have to deal with students and you have to deal with teacher and the side of students and the teacher is not the same you start with the teacher and then you start with the, the, the student and you study all the backgrounds then here you can uh, give this, the teacher what, what he needs really he needs in uh, every case he faces in the classroom Okay, so why can I add? Uh, I can add the um, resolution um, fact, which why we do not um, provide trainee candidates uh, with an actual environment, learning environment. When they are having a teacher training program, they need to be uh, sent into a public school or a private school just to train them. Okay just to see, to okay. show them how the real classroom setting looks like. 
This is yes, of course. Solution. Yes, and if you, uh, let me give you an example, just for example, uh, this because you are a teacher, uh, the first skill you are going to acquire is the presentation skills, the presentation skills, and this present and these presentation skills are not easy to to be acquired, okay? And the uh, and the first fear in the world is when they ask you to talk in front of someone or in front of a group of people, even if they are just pupils. Believe me, when you are in the stage, you have to deal with uh, this kind of stress. And, and this is, for example, uh, to be uh, uh, shaped in the presentation skills. That's one side, for example, if you want to talk about psychological things and you, you want to give them some presentation skills uh, to start with how to uh, enter the classroom, how to uh, greet your learners, how to show them that you are just energetic or something like that. So. Okay, uh, it's about to finish. Okay, uh, so we will come back or leave directly? Oh man, maybe just, uh, I have just five minutes left to leave. Okay, we'll discuss second element and then we will close the meeting, okay? Yes, no problem. Uh, just five minutes. Are we speaking Arabic? Uh, uh, five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. Five or seven. Okay. So I will speak to you. Um, what we're going to discuss the second and the the, the next elements. Um. So uh, thank you for your uh, response uh, and suggestion regarding the psychological factors and how to overcome these uh, difficulties. Um. So Thanks. what about uh, Muhammad, Mr. Muhammad? What about uh, the target audience. Okay, how to accomplish this? How to face your students and start presenting without any kind of a problem? I am referring to their levels, how you can cover all the student levels. We have a beginner student, we have um, advanced, intermediate, etc. How can you provide a, a, a knowledge or explanation of words that fit to their own level? Okay. Yeah, according to the, the target audience, as you see that in our public uh, school, in our public schools in Algeria, uh, the levels, uh, each level has its characteristics. Uh, uh, for first, for example, for MS, for first year, uh, uh, for first year uh, pupils are not uh, the same like uh, second or third uh, and fourth. Uh, let's start by, for example, uh, first year students. First year students, I'm, I'm one MS, one MS students, are not the same because they're in English. When you start in teaching in English, you have to deal with uh, not the level uh, because the, the level will be uh, after two months or three months uh, to see their level, their levels. But at the, uh, at first. You are going to deal with the, the different backgrounds and the different uh, uh, levels of other uh, subjects, like, for example, uh, what is the average of the pupil when he came, when he, when he, before he came to the uh, middle school. But generally, you are going to start with, uh, with pupils with one level. You are going to teach them uh, a new language and new uh, vocabulary and new thing every and then after that after two months and three months you are going for example uh, formative uh, assessment will you will find who is good and is uh, maybe who needs more time uh, who needs more practice and you are going to uh, to deal with uh, levels with second and third third years uh, when you are, for example, with second and or third years, the first thing you do when you start your program or when you start your, your year, uh, as you know, that uh, every teacher has a diagnostic text be uh, test before he, he began or before he begins the, the learning or the teaching. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> and there you can 
you can differ with your uh, pupils. If you have, uh, for example, uh, let's say a uh, good level and weak levels, if you have uh, um, just three or four, you have to deal them. You have to deal with them with uh, differently. If you have the whole class, or let's say the percentage of the students is uh, of weak students is higher than the uh, good ones, here you are going to adopt another thing, another method. Uh, let's say reviewing or let's say remedial work. Uh, don't start. Don't start before. Don't start before you have your students uh, have the same or have let's say the <clears throat> the equivalent levels before they they start a new thing. Uh, let's say prerequisites. We call them prerequisites uh, knowledge before they they go uh, further. To other uh, aspects of, of languages. So formative assessment tests are techniques we use always here. That's what we have uh, until now because time is not time is limited here and it's not enough uh, to always uh, uh, measure the level of your uh, students. But this thing uh, I'm talking about tests and uh, assessment and is uh, always the key techniques to uh, measure the level of your pupils. That's why I want to say if you, are, if you have good. another question. And uh, what about the lesson objectives? How can they perceive? How can they uh, acquire the lesson objective? Okay, about the objective. Yes, there is no learning without objectives. Okay. Always this, uh, yeah, always this is the, the thing that you have to learn when you are a teacher. Uh, the, out, the, the, the outcomes, uh, AI, like you said, it depends on the level of the, of the students. Sometimes you are going to, uh, to achieve, uh, maybe you, you are going to face a good lesson or it's just a simple lesson and you are going to achieve your, your outcomes. Uh, I'm not going to, to say that you are going to achieve the outcomes with all uh, the students, but most, mostly, when you have, for example, let's say 70% of your students uh, 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 have uh, mastered the, the thing you are going to, uh, or you plan for the first time, just for example, you say that students will be able to, and, and when you set these the assessments at the end, you find them that they are good. And yes, there you are having your outcomes. And if, uh, any kind, uh, every type of lessons, if every type of lessons has the ki a kind of outcomes, and you know that speaking is not like listening and reading is not like writing, uh, and so on. But you have to put in your mind that it's not easy because you have the uh, problem of time. Uh, always, you have to struggle with with the time and time to. Uh, achieve your uh, outcomes. Uh, pupils uh, are not the same. Uh, maybe you are going to find that most of them, not just few of them, most of them are not going to uh, have the outcomes, for example, of um, a writing lesson, because it's the most difficult thing, and also the speaking lesson. And here, uh, you are going to review and review again uh, with grammar and other lessons that are just uh, they based on techniques and mechanics and something like that. You, you are going to find uh, your students good at and maybe they will achieve the outcomes. But believe me, uh, with speaking and writing, uh, it will be more difficult than that. And here, uh, you can suggest anything with the other teachers and with the uh, experienced teachers how to deal with that because it's the most important outcome it's speaking and writing that's what we teach language to speak and to write very good very good thank you for your uh, participation mohammed uh, that was the end of this session oh, thank uh, you very much for yeah. having me here yeah, you gave us a valuable and intense uh, suggestion 
regarding uh, how to deal with uh, teaching obstacles and uh, uh, gave us resolutions um, for the reason to overcome uh, the learning or the teaching uh, um, difficulties. Thank you very much, Mohammed. And You're welcome. Uh, Thanks very much. Yeah, um, that's very splendid, and uh, I appreciate your attendance. Goodbye. Goodbye, sir. Thank you very much. See you next time, inshallah. Thank you. Thank you, Mohammed. Well, uh, what I'm going to do to give you a layout or the outline, uh, just a quick to tell you about uh, what our guest was explaining. So here we are, we are talking about the, um, the psychological factor, as I told you, we're talking about certain difficulties inside the classroom and during the training phase etc. So now I will tell you about my own opinion. Um, so the first thing that in the psychological factor, you will have a pressure and you will have an anxiety um, in order to make this um, vanish gradually, you need to be well prepared. And also um, you need to find any kind of the teaching opportunities in a private school. Here you will experience, you will teach without any um, outside or influential uh, factor. And by this, you provide any lesson without any, um, I mean, um, overreacting or overthinking or hesitating to produce words, etc. So this is about psychological factor. When we talk about the next element, which is the target audience, here is connected with the first one. The target audience is your students, obviously. You will provide them with a knowledge, with a provide them with an accurate words. So you need to think, uh, I mean, um, what we can say, intellectually, and avoid any thinking about the, uh, what you're going to do, what you're going to say, etc. This is the first thing you need to consider. Um, the second thing is that your students are um, expected to learn or to understand what you are saying. So you need to provide a variety of tools, a variety of teaching in order to cover all their different expectations. This is the next one. When we talk about the learning perceptions, okay? Here in the learning perception is dealing with, or teaching perception. Um, so teaching is not like copy and pass and going inside the classroom and teach um, what you have brought on your worksheet paper, et cetera. Now, be creative because when we prepare priorly, that does not mean that we have finished with that process. When you get inside the classroom, you will face a different situation. If you provide them with the task that you have written uh, in, the, in your paper or in worksheet paper, uh, so in the lesson plan, plan paper, I'm referring to it, you will find uh, some students did not understand what you are saying, and here you will find yourself in an awkward situation. So always, you should have uh, uh, alternative option. The alternative option can be done creatively, uh, creatively by your uh, behalf, your own behalf. This is the reason. So you need to provide them a task based on the circumstance you are dealing with. So we always prepare. We are having um, ongoing preparation of our lesson, even inside the classroom. This is why I'm saying this is my own experience. And I have, um, I mean, noticed that during my teaching career. Um, so the finally is the learning objective. You need to provide them with an accurate uh, rules, right? An accurate and, and simplify as much as possible in order to fulfill the learning objective. The learning objective should be interconnected with 
your procedures, your lessons, phase, etc. Phases, we are talking about pre, post, and during, etc. This is my um, uh, my significant uh, suggestion. Thank you very much. That was all about this webinar. And uh, see you for uh, the other videos, including teaching, grammar, vocabulary, and so forth.